XFX Camera Transitions has just had a large update, but version 2 comes with a lot more than just transitions. We now have overlays, defocuses and other great effects such as DSLR viewfinders, SLR viewfinders, old cameras like a Holger and a Lomo. For this tutorial we're going to concentrate on the transitions. The first transition I'm going to take a look at is 35mm film wind on that does an effect like you're winding on some film in a, in a camera. I'll drop that on these clips and because it's a transition I can of course increase the, or decrease the length of it. I can drag it or I can do Control D and enter a number and I can move the transition or shorten either side of the clip. But if I look in the inspector you'll notice I've got a few more controls. I've got a direction forwards and backwards. So the film now goes backwards. And I also can control the acceleration. On 100% it gives a nice S curve, 0 gives a linear transition. And you'll notice these edge numbers on the top of the bottom of the frame. Say you're going through quite a lot of images that you wanted to go through one by one. I can actually change these and they'll be reflected in the timeline so they're not actually baked in. So you could go through a lot and have a different number for each of those. You'll also notice a couple of pins either side of the transition and these feed the images on the left and right. You can just see the number one there. I can spin up and down. You can actually say which frame you want in the two frames that are either side. There we go, you can just see that of the transition. Looks great, very easy to use. Next up is motor drive and flash. Now, I really like this one because it's great for doing things like promos. It gives you a set of flashes between still frames and the last flash out is back into live action. Now if you take a look at one of the still frames it's black and white but you can turn that off but it's toggled to make it look like it's a black and white photo on here and you can see there are more controls available like adding noise to make it look like uh, even more like a picture. Really good when you've got some music and you hit the beats with those flashes. Great for promos. I tend to use it quite a lot. 16mm film slip is a transition that simulates a film slipping in a projector gate. Gives a nice blur on there between the two. Again I've got controls I can go spool forwards and spool backwards and I can adjust the blur to suit if you want it sharp or blur. There's also some motion blur effects in the new update should you want to apply those as well. But if I turn the blur off in the plugin I can also show you that there's a bit of blur on the frame edge and the sprockets just to give it a bit more of an organic feel. The last effect I'd like to show you is camera iris freeze and this replicates an iris or aperture and we've gone to great lengths to make sure it's got those classic nine blades you'll see in an expensive camera lens. Now if I look at the blades in the inspector I can see the front or back and also I can adjust the colour of not only the blades but also of the edge. And I can also control the lighting on there should I want to make it darker or lighter. And of course that one says freeze but there's also a camera iris that doesn't do the freeze between the two but I tend to like the freeze when I think it looks a bit funkier. That's just four of the 28 transitions in the pack but don't forget we've expanded to include more than double the amount of effects that were from the original pack and I'll be showing you how to use those in the next tutorial. See you there.